Hi, welcome to another Coding in Blitz Basic. Uh, we're going to be looking at animating images on this session. It's something I've been um, not putting off, I've just not got around to it yet. So we're finally going to get around to it now. Um, all I'm going to do is two simple programs. Um, one which just automatically animates a character and another which gives you control over a character to make him walk around the screen uh, using basic animation. Um, as in any animation, we're going to look. We're going to have a simple animation to start with, which is just a character here, uh, which is just a basic design for a character I'm working on for a role-playing game I'm writing. Um, he's walking to the right. We've got four frames of animation, so this just loops around. So you've got frame one, two, three, four. They just play over and over to give the impression of him moving. And then, obviously, at the same time, you move the image across the screen to the right to give the uh, illusion of animation. So. If I go into Blitz, you'll see a program I've already written for this. I'll work through it and then run it like normal. So we set up a graphics mode. We load the animated image. Normally we'd use load image. Uh, Blitz has a command called load anim image, which tells it that the image is going to have more than one frame. So you get, again, you give it the name of the image. And then you tell it how wide the, um, if I go to the, help page here you'll see. So you tell it the width, which is the width of your uh, each of the frames, how high each of the frames is, is which frame it should load first and how many frames it should load. So we want it to load all the frames, all four frames in animation. So I'm telling it's 58 pixels wide, 98 high, 0 is the first frame and we've got four frames. So looking at the image, I'm just saying it from there so around about there is 58 pixels so that times 4 is the whole width of this image 98 up and down and we're loading 4 of them starting at this one which is the first one which Blitz will call 0 so the actual images will be labelled 0, 1, 2, 3 that's it going back into Blitz uh, I'm just masking the image just to get rid of the white in the background so that we treat it as a transparent colour I create a game timer to run at 10 frames per second. Uh, I'm having a frame variable here. Uh, the frame variable is used later in the program, so all we need to know for now is that we're going to start at frame 0 for the animation, which is just the first frame, uh, which is the left-hand side of the, uh, of the picture, so frame 0 here. Starting at x equals 200, that's the uh, X coordinate for where the character is going to start before walking across the screen. We draw into the back buffer for a smooth animation, then we start our while loop. So while we don't press escape, clear the screen, draw the image at X and 200, so 200 is a Y, and frame. Now this is new, normally we just put, use this part of draw image, we're now using the final part which is frame, which is what frame of animation do you want to draw. So we're going to draw the f zero first of all. Then next we're going to advance the animation frame by one. So the next one will be frame one, obviously. So that's the next frame where the guys uh, moved a little bit. And then we, because we don't want frame to go over three, uh, as that's the last frame, we want it to go back to zero. We're going to say that if frame is four, then set frame to zero so it loops around, and that will happen every time, every four times through this loop. Uh, then we, we then want to move the x coordinate of the image. Uh, otherwise it will look like it's just walking in place so we increase x by 5 and wait for the game timer flip the buffers around to display the image and go around the loop with the wind so if I run this you see we have the character walking to the right across the screen just as expected so I escape out and that's it um, I'm going to move on to the second program now you better download this program if you can't type it all in from the screen, um, which I'm calling walk anywhere, and this is slightly different, again, we set up a graphics mode, we load the image, uh, this time we can load 16 frames, because the character will walk in four directions, so if I show you that image, this is the image with the character walking in four directions, so we've got walking towards you, to the right, to the left, and up, so four frames each. All Blitz will do is when it gets to the right hand side of an image, if it's still got more frames to load, it will just go down by however high your image is, your um, cell is, basically your animation cell that you've told it. 
and load again. So it's load it as log strip. So that's done the, with that command. Again, we mask it. Um, I'm having directions on here, so I'm setting these as constants. A uh, constant is simply a number that doesn't change for the duration of the program. That's all it is. Um, so we're going to have direction up, direction down, direction right, and direction left. These numbers are basically what's called the offset on the frames. So down, we're having a zero because if you look at the image, he's walking down in the first one. And when we draw the image in our loop, we're having the frame plus the dia, which is direction. So direction will be set depending on um, where he's walking to one of these numbers. So all that means is if he's walking to the right, we set direction to be D right, which is 4, which means it will plus 4 onto the frame. So the frame's going from 0 to 3. So if the frame is 0, we plus 4 and we get 4, and it draws the, the first frame for walking right, and it will loop around them ones, not the first two, the uh, first one. And then the other directions work the same way. So when you're adding 12, he's walking up. So we see direction up is 12. Uh, comment on the video if that needs any further explanation. Uh, that's as simple as I can make it really. Um, if anyone can think of a simpler way of explaining it, go for it. Okay, uh, we set frame to zero. We set our x and y starting coordinates. Uh, obviously he's walking up and down now, so we've got y as well. We set our back buffer. We set the initial direction for him to walk as being down. He's not actually going to walk down, that's just the direction he'll be facing. We start a while loop, we clear the screen. We draw the image. Um, so again, we have just like before, except this time we're plusing direction at the end as well. So he's facing the right way. We move the frame one by one. We loop it around when it hits four. And then what we say is, if he's not, if we're not holding any keys down, he'll be facing downwards. However, if we're holding the keys down, these are just the cursor keys. Then that's the right cursor key. Move right, left, and move left, up and move up, or down will increase y by 3 and have d down. Wait for the game timer, flip the buffers and loop around the loop. So if I run this, you'll see he's facing down, he's animating. If I press right, go and walking right, left, up and then down. You can down, hold down more than one key at a time. Obviously you could draw diagonal frames as well if you wanted to and have your program check for that. But for now that's just a simple way of animating a character uh, for a simple game. Obviously if you're writing a role playing game it's probably one of the first things you do. Just get a basic character walking around the screen and then getting interacting with things and hitting things or picking things up or whatever. Okay, we better download the code for this as well as the images. Um, have fun and see what you can create with it. I'll be making a more advanced animation tutorial in the future because obviously this means that the whole game at this point is running at 10 frames a second. You might want the actual game to be running smoothly but have your characters animated slowly so different rates. Uh, there's ways of doing that. Um, it's too complex to go into right now because I've only got a minute before the end of the clip. Um, but I'll make a tutorial on that sometime later on. Um, a way of kind of including some other tutorials such as gravity or maybe particle effects or something um, to make more of a fully fledged game type uh, graphic effects out of it or something. Okay, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next tutorial.